I've went over this before and I want to go over it again briefly just because I'm watching this and this has come up in this debate. I'm watching this uh, James White versus Trent Horn debate, can a Christian lose their salvation? And there's not even really a whole lot of good in this debate that I've seen. I've just been watching this crosstalk section, but anyway, James White does his usual Calvinist stuff and uh, he mentions this verse, which I'll show you. John 6, 37, which says, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. And James White's asking Trent, which comes first, the giving or the coming? And so basically, Calvinists will try to use this verse to teach unconditional election. So they'll say that this verse says, All the Father giveth me shall come to me. So that basically means that God chose who would be saved, and whoever God chose will come to Christ, okay? Um, they take out man's free will, remember. That's not at all what this verse is teaching. They're putting their own doctrine, they're inserting their doctrine, their beliefs, into this verse to making it say what they want to say, okay? You have to read the whole thing in context here, okay? Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye have seen me, ye also have seen me, sorry, and, and believe not, okay? So he's saying that these people don't believe him. They, they don't believe that he is the Son of God. They don't believe that he is the Christ. And, so, then he continues, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Okay, and I don't really even have to go any further now. So, he's saying, you don't believe me, you don't believe I'm the Son of God. And then he says, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. So what he's doing is he's condemning them, and he's basically saying that if you believe in the Father, then you believe in me. If you don't believe that I'm the Son of God, then you truly don't believe in the Father. Okay? And so that is what this verse means. So basically, <clears throat> you have to kind of look at the reverse way of it. Um, you know, him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And so basically, those that are given to the Son are the ones who believe in the Father. Okay? And so, he's saying, if you don't believe in me, you don't believe in the Father. Is basically the gist of this. So, it's very important to know that this does not teach unconditional election. Okay? Um, this is very deceiving. And, you know, for a guy who has all these degrees and everything, and he's supposed to be all smart about scripture and everything, it's, it's, it's some horrible... Bible teaching. So, anyways, God bless.